is Roger. Hello, my name is Roger Pacina. Um, yeah, I know, so I'm sure Olmo already spoke a little bit about Tech Tuesday. Uh, it's kind of like, I guess you would say, a TED Talks for the Valley. We like to bring in a lot of uh, speakers, usually anywhere between two to three. Uh, the last Tuesday of each month. Uh, we also talk a lot about entrepreneurship and really about technology. Like, you know, we'll have people <coughs> come in who used to work for NASA or people who own their own company or people who are starting a company in their garage. So it's just, you know, really to know what's going on in the Valley right now in terms of technology and entrepreneurship. Um, yeah, so this is the, the founding team of Tech Tuesday. Uh, there's Dr. Sargent over here. Um, there's Olmo, then there's Vicente and Jorge Vivanco as well. Um, they, they're the ones that pretty much do all the work to make this happen, uh, or most of the work. <laughs> Next slide, please. And yeah, and this is the team, the rest of the team. Um, I help out sometimes. And, uh, and yeah, so this is like more or less, you know, it makes the magic happen. And you know, we hunt down for speakers. Uh, we go into the different colleges, you know, you'll see me around the College of Engineering sometimes hunting for, you know, projects that uh, people who want to present their stuff and, and yeah. So how did we start? Uh, I was trying to learn how to code and uh, I mean, I already knew a little bit about coding, but not about web development. Uh, I met with Jorge and we started talking about how in the Valley there's uh, not that many opportunities uh, or you know people that want to start projects uh, don't really go through with it and eventually just go and uh, work for a company out of the valley. Uh, so we wanted to uh, try to change that and see if uh, there was other people that had the same mindset. Uh, we met Olmo and uh, he had worked at Google and uh, he, we had some really interesting discussions about you know the opportunities in the valley and he had already been uh, talking to other people that had the same interests. So uh, that's how we started. And uh, since then, I think uh, it's been really successful. We've uh, interested a lot of students from here for Panam. We opened up CoderGV. And uh, as, as we said, it's a collaborative uh, thing where each one of you has uh, a part in it. And uh, you know, you're know, you welcome to join. And uh, we'll talk about suggestions in a moment uh, if, if we want to turn it into a discussion. So what we're showing you right now is 2013 and a little bit, well, a little bit of 2013 and all of 2014. That's why it took so long to go through the, through the list. The, we thought it would be awesome if we would to uh, talk about a couple of the presenters. You know, where were they before? Where are they now? <laughs> and we, we talked to three people. So the first people that we talked to, the organization that we talked to is uh, ClueQuest, they're a mobile startup that they're doing a game. The, the last things that they reported is that the, when they were here, they, they finally got their first funding, their first round of funding, and they were assembling a team. They were successful in assembling the team, but then they had difficulties with the team. So that slowed them down from their progress. But now they have a concrete team in California in Los Angeles, so they're still doing things remotely with them, and they actually produced the app. They're launching in two weeks, and they're uh, they're going to launch a, a game locally, actually, so you can try it out. Uh, they're going to be our our next speakers in, in next month, so come back so you can try it out. You'll get to download it ahead of time, and right now we're planning it out so you guys can play the scavenger hunt with us. The next person that I spoke with is Rudy Gomez. If, if he were here with us, he was really excited to come down. He was actually not a, one of our planned speakers, but uh, he was one of the audience and we asked for announcements and he announced that he was launching his game. This is another mobile app, that the uh, startup, but he did it um, out of just self-interest and curiosity in, in programming. He, he, his background is, uh, he really just was a renaissance kind of guy. He, he can do anything. Um, and so he'd worked for small companies here and there, and he decided to create a game because that's his passion. And he created this game, and he ended up uh, being part of an academy in California uh, this past summer that's called MakeGamesWithUs.us, and he was able to go through it completely, and he launched his game in the Android, and because of the opportunity in the summer, he launched it in iOS. Through this opportunity, he got hired, actually, in a startup in California. And even better news is that that startup got acquired. 
So right now, uh, he actually came back more internally to the valley to let us know how he was doing, but then he quickly went back. So his company got, uh, his startup that he, he was in, Vessel, he's still in there, uh, got acquired by, by you know, the, one of the 500 startups.co or whatever the URL is and by Y Combinator. And right now, when you're talking to him, he's like, I just went to Facebook, I know in people at Intel and all these different things. And he's really excited about what he's working on. And his biggest goal for coming up in 2015 is to work at 2K Sports, in particular the NBA basketball part. So he still is really interested in passion in games. And in particular, he's interested in bringing more people from the Valley to California, as well as teaching and being a leader in his field. So uh, he has a lot of interesting stories that he wants to share with us. Uh, another interview that we did was with Heriberto Reynoso. He's, he's still locally here. He's producing his own robots. And he's, he's doing it for educational purposes uh, for schools. Uh, he has his own CNC laser. When he came in the last, well, he was actually one of our first speakers in September. When he was talking to us, he was still working out of his parents' garage, but, uh, but he had the CNC laser done. And then soon thereafter, he started producing robots. This is one of the hexapods that he creates for students. Uh, he has this Ray uh, Robotics Institute that has overseen 600 or more. I, I didn't bring my notes with me, actually. But he has hundreds of, uh, of students that have already gone through the projects of uh, working with robots, hexapods. And one of the new things that he has this year is the Da Vinci robots. Uh, the Da Vinci robots, I'm not sure you're familiar, but, and this is one of the speakers that I want to invite, uh, there's people, the hospitals locally that use it. You can make a one, one so, uh, inch, inch or so incision in a person's body, and the robots will actually work within that incision compared to a human, you know, textile. Uh, so he actually has his students play with that. So right off the bat, students that of young age can start playing with it and learn how to robotics works. <laughs> And he modeled it after, if you can see the model up there, after the, after the actual real deal. So another thing that he's doing because of SpaceX is uh, aer aeronautics. So he created his own rocket design using simple uh, water, uh, water bottles. And he's producing these. So he's teaching people uh, aerospace design as well as uh, implementing a wind tunnel system for students to learn about and play with. Um, next up. So this is 2013 and 2014 by the numbers. Um, all in all, we've had 40 presentations, 20 hours plus hours, 20 hours plus of technology, 14 sessions, and more than 700 attendees. Um, we've had over 1,200 views, 5,500 minutes, and 14 subscribers. On YouTube. On YouTube, and zero dislikes. <laughs> 51% of our views are YouTube traffic, suggested, featured, and searched. This is part of our local and global audience, so we are internationally. <laughs> yeah, that's actually, that's one of the things that I wanted to point out is that we have the presentation locally, but what amazes me and us is that we have such a large audience elsewhere. And it's not like they're searching for Tech Tuesdays, they're looking for robotics, they're using, they're looking for lasers, they're looking for manufacturing. So what's really interesting is that our speakers get to benefit from local audiences at the same time, hundreds if not thousands of views and sharings and communications online on YouTube. We've also have over, four, over 500 fans and followers on social media, so it includes Facebook, and 200 plus subscribers on the mailing list. And we have been in the news. We were in the Monitor July 30th, Crunch Base October 28th, NPR November 20th, and Hayden Collins Radio December 2014. If 2014 is establish and discover, then 2015 is quality and resourceful.
Okay, guys, uh, let me present myself, Roman Garcia. I'm kind of the new guy on the team. <laughs> um, I've been here before. I participated first doing a presentation, and then, well, here I am. Uh, for this, one of the things that we would like to do after looking at into the numbers that we have been increasingly being watched in, in our countries is that, okay, if they're looking, if they're reaching, looking for sensors or technologies, they're getting here. Uh, one of the best things that we can do is to start going bilingual. As usually we go any place here and we can communicate in Spanish and English. So the idea is that, for example, if we're going to start having interviews to play it on our YouTube channels, or if we want somebody that wants to do a presentation in Spanish, the idea is that on the YouTube, cha on the YouTube channel, if the presentation was in Spanish, we we'll put subtitles in English and vice versa. So everybody will know. and. It's all about these many people that come, even from Europe, that comes from France here to UTPA. That's what they love. Like that's that's what they love about well, this place. That we are a bicultural place. That's one of the points that we want to do for this 2015. Okay, and of course um, we're going to continue to grow our networking. Uh, thanks to all of you guys, because whenever I see this this place, I see many 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 faces that have been here uh, talking. And local interviews, walkthroughs, research, and venture talk. Pretty much, um, there's something that we are working on that we want to do, which is going to be upgrading the YouTube channel, as I mentioned. But when you go now to the YouTube channel, you just see the presentations once per month. We want to actually get people that want to do something else for our YouTube channel. So they want to do 15 every week, having a, a 10 or, t or 15 minutes of video with interviews uh, with all, all professors, entrepreneurs, guys from here from the Valley, anybody that wants to, uh, to support, to, 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 uh, to add something into uh, the association will be fine. So pretty much that's one of the things, to keep more videos going on on the YouTube channel. So the more technology that we present to the, to the world, the more that we're going to grow up. <coughs> and um, was it's part of it. okay so part of our goals for um, 2015 is to attract more coverage to kind of diversify and we basically want to have more students involved coming to events faculty we want a lot more women as well um, investors local community we want to attract as much as we can uh, students, you know, we want to involve the high schools, which involve like Edinburgh, Med High, Sci Tech. We want to have many disciplines, so arts, film, journalism, science, engineering. Faculty, we want entrepreneurship and technology coalition, a group of like-minded professors interested in creating dual programs and initiatives. Investors is one of our goals for 2015, and part of that is to partner with a venture capital firm. So, uh, roughly 2014, we like we like we said is we've been very successful at providing content that was generated by our speakers, and 2015 because we've already established the the meeting and the organization, right, the, the structure that we, that we do this. Now we are seeking going beyond that. There is nobody else in the valley really doing what we're doing. Uh, even with the center, what it's doing, it's like he said, we need marketing, we need communications, we need more information dis distillation. We need to allow students of any age to understand what we're talking about. So um, we want to invite more engineers, more technology people, more institutions to be more open to us, to present their ideas, to present their initiatives, then so that we can broadcast it out. You know, he was saying that he was meeting with Obama. Why weren't we aware of it, right? Why, why, why is it that we couldn't have a voice in that conversation? Because I'm sure it would have made more sense to Obama and our legislature if a lot of us would have said, I would love it if you know, the center had these tools. So what we're doing is, in 2015, is we're going to provide more content, more quality content. Uh, right now, we're pretty much organized and run based off of things that we can gather. 
we are going to do more sponsorships. We're going to do more grants. We're going to partner up with more people, and we're going to we're going to look for investors and volunteers and interns, because we we expect that Tech Tuesdays, as well as the other initiatives that we're doing in the Valley, to not just go beyond this room and those few thousand of people in, in YouTube, but we want to go beyond that and order of magnitude more this year. And it's really ambitious. And it's awesome. You know, I, I love the fact that we have a team that is really interested in pushing the agenda forward. Um, and this is what it's all about. We, if we stay stagnant, especially in the valley, we, we are content with what we have. We just lose the race. We're, we're not moving forward. So we are now recruiting journalists, reporters. We're recruiting producers of video, articles, editors. We're, we're accepting illustrators because one of our great, uh, Roman had mentioned the idea, it was such a great idea, is that what if we, like, we, one of our presenters, he produces hydrogen uh, gas in Harlingen. How cool would it have been if we went to, to, the, to the production plant and an illustrator was with us, you know, he's not an engineer, but we can help him understand how to illustrate it and we can draw how the combustion works and how we produce hydrogen and present it to young children or present it to older adults that just need that little, little bit more of explanation of what we're doing. So I just wanted to point out that we're accepting a lot of people to get involved with us um, and in particular grant writers. We want to work with the Knight Foundation. We want to work with all the other nonprofit medias out there. Uh, Vice. Uh, it's not in the plan for 2015, but 2016 and beyond, we want to be really ambitious and say that all of our content should become syndicated. It should, so if you're a writer or a producer of videos and you want to have a name out there, then how cool would it be from the ground floor be involved with something that would benefit the community and potentially benefit you as well in your career? Because we're, we're pushing the agenda that our videos, our articles will be on you know, other websites as well as, um, for example, PBS. It'd be really fun if we can do that. If one weekend show or something where we're at home, we're producing, and we can illustrate something really easily for high school students or, I don't know, I'm just thinking out loud of like, we could be the next Bill Nye above the valley kind of thing. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, so I, I wanted to finish off by saying be part of the Valley's Tech Resource. We, we're going to have the directory of jobs and not just recruiters will be there. We're, we're going to take the initiative of actually talking to uh, companies and letting them know here are the talent pool that we have because we're going to have a listing of skills. We're going to have a listings of equipment that is available around us and in particular startups that are looking for founders or they're looking for uh, just help in a certain skill set. So we're not going to be just another Indeed. We, we're trying to do something really interesting in that field as well. And we really need a lot of help, right? We have a lot of engineers in the team, and right now we're diversifying. That's why we're attempting more different things. So if you are interested in participating, come on down, talk to us. Or if you know of somebody that should be participating, let them know about us. This is, this is a community event. We run this ourselves, you know, like-minded people that want to do something great for the community. And uh, we'd love to have you if you have it. So right now, we'll open up to discussion about what we're planning to do. If you think it's a horrible idea, you might as well tell us now before we invest time into it. <laughs> uh, but if you love it, then let us know because we're going to need encouragement. Because it's, I mean, if, am I right? Is it ambitious? Right? So we're going to need your encouragement, your feedback right now. So I'll open up to the floor, and you can discuss, and we can, if you have any questions to us, please go ahead. When you discuss the videos, like 10 minute videos, uh, you know how in YouTube and stuff like that, they put comments. So maybe you could put something like, if you have any questions, <coughs> so they can post the questions, and you can go back to the person that you interviewed and ask them the questions like at their home or something, okay. and put those videos, like 10 minutes, of the questions that Oh, uh, the people answer. outside the class didn't get to ask. Like a Q and A. Yeah, Q and A <coughs> videos. Yeah, that'd be about great. The yeah. Awesome, awesome idea. idea. It could be like the Google Hangout uh, follow-up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we we can definitely record that for sure. Uh, that's what we're looking for reporters, right? <laughs>
if anybody's interested in that, you know, journalistic approach of just like, uh, like we did the interviews of those three cases. I mean, I got a rush out of it. I, I mean, I'm an engineer. I typically don't do that kind of stuff. But when I did, I was just like, man, this is really interesting to learn about people's lives and, you know, hardships too, because, you know, ClueQuest, they had to restart in a way their development. So it, you, you, you can associate with them. So yeah, that, that's a really good idea. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, right now, there is none. We are not advertising anybody. The only advertising that I were now we're considering is sponsorship. If somebody wants to sponsor us equipment, sponsor us uh, just funding, so we can buy equipment or we can buy supplies of different sorts. Uh, some of the things that we have lined up for us would be encoding software and hardware for our, our videos. Um, I don't want to get too technical, but right now. This is, I think, a 2002 camera. <laughs> and uh, it's the, a good camera. It's a good camera. It's a good yeah. camera. <laughs> it has an HDMI output, but um, to take that HDMI output and take it to my, uh, take it to a computer to, because one of the things we want to do is live streaming, so that way we have live following, and I want to have like a screen here of online questions of people and, in real time. But we would need another computer that on standby that is actually taking streaming data from the computer to that po po uh, position and then from the camera to that and then it'll mix it at the same time and we're producing it in live. Because right now um, it takes us about uh, three to four hours to produce the videos that we have every single time. So it's a large investment of time. So if we were going to make a, per uh, uh, next, next, a purchase, that would be the first one. So right now, yeah, we don't have advertisement, but we, we would be willing to accept money. <laughs> Social media, word of mouth, uh, some professors have been doing us the favor of including this as extra credit, so that, that helps drive in people. Oh, and did the, you mean advertising the, or marketing? And the advertising you've had on the interviews from the newspaper and the radio. That's true too, yeah, we have those too. Oh, you did a great job for you in the last one and a half year. We did. All, <laughs> yes, you, all, you all, all of you. So, and your your program for this year is is is, is very good. I see it's a challenge, and I think you can reach it. The only thing that I that I didn't see is that you need communication people too, right. because it's a little bit the same thing: advertising, marketing. Yeah. So maybe if you find people here in the in the university that have more more experience with communication to communicate your work that is yeah. very good to the community to the industry even to the industry in Mexico because you know that the plants are in in Reno, well, exactly. in the Mexican side so i congratulate you all of you this is a very good job and my only observation is about the communication, try to do uh, yeah. a vision of, of communicate your work. Yeah, we're, one of the things that we're gonna do soon is a marathon, basically. We, we do this a bit, pretty much once a year. We visit all the chairs of engineering, say hello to them, remind them about Tech Tuesdays. And then this year, what we're changing is exactly that. We're including in the list the film, film school, journalism school, uh, and and really getting to know that network, expanding it, because we we're we're very fortunate to have a lot of business people with us. But it's like you're saying, it's a different, it's a different art. Because yeah. in engineering, I can design you a component, no big no no big deal. But communication is definitely it's it's a learned skill. It's not something that you're born with. So Maybe. if you know of people in the media that would be interesting in partnering with us. Like I was just telling them, it'd be awesome if just like the Monitor or ABC or one of the local stations just, they did the video recording for us. <laughs> I mean, if they're into it, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's, we're looking for partners. So that was, that's what we meant by that is, and I didn't include it in there just in concern of time, but yeah, partnering, we're gonna do a lot of that. Uh, Cause we can't do this alone.
because I'm sure lots of people from Edinburgh go to SDC, like it's further for them, but yeah. will you be talking SDC too? No, we haven't talked to them. I've, I've, I've been to SDC with Dr. Sargent, met the VP of Tech, I believe, or? We met the uh, Dean of uh, Business down there. Oh, Business. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we met him briefly, but we, yeah, we, we fell through on that one on last year of like actually doing something. But actually, we, we've had uh, the, the guy who kind of heads up their entrepreneurship club has been here a couple of times. Okay. So that's good contact we need to work more Yeah, exactly. And, and I think that's the key here is that um, we meet people all the time and I'm, I'm part of the Code RGB as well. Uh, so my, my brain is split three ways. <laughs> And if we're looking for more people that are lead oriented, you know, that they're self-motivated. And like I said, just like we did today, I love sharing, you know, the, the achievements with everybody. It's, in a way, I've always said that Tech 2s isn't really the final stop for what we're doing here. Like, there's more things to come. So if, if you are interested or somebody that is interested in talking to SCC, we empower you to do that for us. You're you're more than welcome. We have no ownership really of what we're doing. We we want anybody to just approach people and say, it's like I just talked to STC, the director of so and so, and they would be interested in doing this. Okay, you do it. <laughs> By all means. You were saying? Yeah. So uh, uh, of course, at every meeting we've had uh, our sign-in sheet go yep. around and we've got contact information for people, uh, and we have had a little bit of churn as far as. Uh, some people are here all the time, and, and uh, uh, some are just showing up for particular uh, uh, speakers. Yeah. Uh, have we done, or have we considered, I think it would be helpful, uh, all three of those, <laughs> of actually kind of surveying uh, people who have come to Tech Tuesday and kind of understanding uh, a little bit uh, as far as uh, why people, some people aren't coming back, okay. and now we can create more value for our, for our members. Yeah. yeah, our mailing list, I didn't include numbers on it. But um, the we are we have actually a high rated mailing list, so it could be possibly because it's online. But yeah, you're right. We need to ask exactly why is it that they're not coming back. I know if you're a student, sometimes some semesters doesn't work out because there's a lot of evening classes. And fortunately, students graduate and go away. That too. But uh, how many um, how many people have been here before? Look at that. So. Uh, I, th I think we have attrition rate, and then we also have a lot of retention, which is a great thing. I think what we can do in 2015 uh, as well is referrals, right? We can, if you've been here before and you love what we're doing, spread the word. I mean, I, I try to every single time, and I probably annoy people, which is probably one reason they don't come back. <laughs> but uh, it, it usually works out in the end. Like, Bobby, you've been here from the very beginning, too. And, you know, so sometimes that's there's lapse of time they don't come in, but I start texting you, you're like, oh, yeah, I got to go. <laughs> so. Yeah, well, one thing I think, uh, uh, I was just down in Brownsville and talking to some of the UTB people, including our physicists, and uh, uh, not the physicists, but some others are really concerned that uh, uh, Brownsville uh, UTB campus is just going to be uh, Swept away. forgotten about shortly. And I think, uh, you know, we need to, have to, to get really the technologists and the technology entrepreneur uh, types in the valley. I think uh, we need to have a more, uh, a way to broadcast live uh, uh, people in Brownsville and uh, 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 proactively keep them involved and, and get more involved. Uh, I agree. There's a group of people over there that are starting something. They're a little disorganized uh, compared to what we're trying to do here. But you know, it, we, we're doing this out of our own time and our own uh, abilities to, to get it done. And there, you know, things are going over there. I think with UTRGV changing and starting rather, uh, my hope is, you know, one of the things we're going to do this year is try and establish, you know, multiple people getting involved from different organizations. So I would love it if we could do a similar thing over there. Is, is anybody from Brownsville or Harlingen area over there? Yeah? yeah? You, you guys want to start a Tech Tuesdays over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah? All right. So, we, I mean, we can do that too. I mean, I've, I've always been for the idea to have two epicenters, right? An epicenter over here, McAllen, Edinburgh, MSA, whatever. And then another one in Harlingen, Brownsville area. 
So I don't know if it would be at UTV because I know the parking is horrible, and or I don't know if they're going to change it in UT like when UT RGB changes. But um, like, but yeah, there's like some logistical things that I went, when I went over there it was pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, so I, I volunteer to work on that opportunity. Okay, cool. Thank you. What's up? Why don't we do something like they do the TED events where they'll have the live broadcasting and a room at UTV, and we have one at STC, so people that can't come here. Yeah. It's still kind of neat and see what's going on. And we can do that. I've, I've spoken to the IT department, and they're capable of giving us all the bandwidth. But our history, like, I don't know if you guys were here from the very beginning, but we used to project and take recordings from up there. And um, it wasn't a fallout, per se, but at least it was very difficult for us because they started, like, really tightening their regulations and bureaucracy. <laughs> so instead, what we realized is, let's just do it ourselves. Because right now we have zero involvement of IT. Um, so when I say purchases of uh, recording equipment, uh, in particular cameras, I'm going to build a little do-it-yourself LED thing, contraption, so we can shine more on a person. Uh, yeah, that, that's where we're going. We definitely want to do live. Uh, it, but that idea in particular of like getting a live streaming of different locations, we just need to partner up with them, uh, in particular classes or something. Like it'd be interesting if a high school or a middle school, like I said, would like in those d days off, they would just like, oh, we're going to watch some Tech Tuesdays and just put it on. So that's what I mean by syndication as well, where we have it a nice tight package where you c they can just distribute it out and people can use it in their uh, schools or whatever. And that would mean more formatting that we need to do here, but it, we'll, we'll play with it. Maybe we'll do kind of like a, they do at conferences where you have a reporter going between scenes and, you know, like if, if you're doing a Tech Tuesday presentation about Fiber Rio, you go through a walkthrough fi through Fiber Rio, and you just do a, an hour long segment or a 30 minute segment on everything Rio. The presentation at Tech Tuesday, it's a presentation at the office, and then, um, and then yes, follow up like we were talking about. So I, I think there's a lot of things that we can do as far as content because I know the monitor, Valley Town Crier, none of the other local people are really, it's, it's, not, it's not sex, drugs, and homicide, right? <laughs> so it's not gonna be on, that, like, on the local shows. So it's, we, we gotta do what we can for ourselves and organizing ourselves to value it, right? And I think connections like with the Knight Foundation where they're a nonprofit media company. So if, if somebody is out there that likes to do grants in particular, you know, I would love it if you would sit down with us because we could do that, right? Like we'd say, we're going we're gonna to need a grant for $10,000 to do live streaming between STC, UTV, and UT, uh, UTPA classrooms, right? Like you could be potentially on at the same time as well as, as, well as the world at large. And we would partner with UTPA and, you know, it sounds really beautiful on paper. And you can have that on your credentials when you, when you get out of here. You're gonna say. Besides uh, YouTube and, and probably Facebook, do you guys have like a Twitter or Instagram also like also spread out the word? Yeah, we have Twitter and we have over 200 followers. Actually, we have a lot on Facebook, but we have a lot on Twitter as well. What's curious is that usually when I do the hashtags <laughs> on uh, on all the stuff that we have, I, I get notified on my phone, and it's really ridiculous. Like the favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh, you know, this is retweet this. Studies, but, yeah. Well, no, I, I love it. That's what I mean. It's like, that's <laughs> awesome. I, but it just surprises me compared to like Facebook. You know, Facebook is more personal. Yeah. And then Twitter is like, we're getting people from Everywhere. UK saying, oh, that's interesting and whatever. That'd be, that'd be interesting too. Maybe some of those people from like Twitter is, uh, I feel like it may be, you expand a bigger market or uh, yeah, we, a different market, I guess you could say. Yeah, with that in mind, actually, we're, we're encouraging you know, us to, to look out beyond the Valley for speakers as well as interviews, right? Because he was saying that there are centers, other, other places, that'd be interesting to do a comparison between this center and that center, and what are the things missing from this center, right? And um, the more we put out high quality content, the better tools we can give people. So, um, I don't know. It's, uh, with Code RGB, our missions are like really, you know, we know what path we're going to go. With Tech Tuesdays, it really took us sitting down twice or three times to really like scope out 
what we want to do. And we scratch off some things that we were like, not going to do this <laughs> too much. So in 2015, uh, we're pretty much creating a media company. I mean, to put it bluntly, we're, we're going to produce an online media. And how we can make money off of that, I don't know exactly. But I think it's, it's worthwhile, right? Um, I mean, people are giving away money to, like, Instagram. I mean, right? I mean, they should give us money, too, right? <laughs> Up there. I know you mentioned something about high schools, that you can do a package. What, what exactly is that, that you will present it to them? Um, well, I, I'm thinking something along the lines of getting, a, getting together with the teachers and saying, uh, you know, sometimes you, ha you need days off, <laughs> and you need to just put a video on. So you got to tell me what you need. You need a tape recorder, like a tape v VHS, <laughs> or do you need just a DVD? Because whatever the format that they want us in, we can just reproduce it to that. Or if they're capable of just streaming, because you know, everything is becoming more modern, then we can have our content online, which it is on YouTube. So they can just, we can give them a playlist that they can just run off of. Um, and we can work with administrators of the schools and say, what do you, what's missing from the conversations that we're having that you need to be like that's why i meant the whole maybe they need like just the presentation to give the like this is the person that is running this and maybe they need the illustrations they need to do maybe problem solving off of what we're talking about because i know Heriberto, for example you can give him the introduction on tech tuesdays and then he can just come to the school and like hey there he, there he is the guy on tv <laughs> Uh, what do you mean? Like, like if we wanted to do a report of like the UTPA response center, and the high school students would go to the response center and re do the interview, or yeah, what do you mean? Or assisting you all. You know how you mentioned that you need volunteers to do stuff sometimes. So, so yeah, actually, I know that some colleges require some kind of internship and co-op, and we're gonna look into that. And in high school, I wasn't aware of that, so we, it might be something to consider. Although I need to double check the liabilities of age range, like range, <laughs> and what are the requirements involved in that. But I know for college, for example, we're going to look into how we can partner up with the career center as well as schools, like liberal arts schools, etc., to say that you're going to send kids to IMS for a semester just because they need to do anthropology. How about you get them to go to Tech Tuesdays and work with us on creating this, you know? Com complete package uh, that we can provide, a, you know, and f self fulfilling and pr uh, promising. Uh, there's there's reporters that are just working as like ads producers. Like you could be producing content that other people can digest and really grow from. But I mean, so uh, I don't know if we can do. It for, I think we can do it for summer, uh, but uh, we can definitely get uh, uh, entrepreneurs entrepreneurship. Exactly. So you just kind of write up a page or two of uh, kind of job res responsibilities and what you would like them to do or what they'd be responsible for doing. Uh, we can advertise that and, and get somebody as early as uh, uh, summer one. Exactly, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Any, Any final, final thoughts, thoughts or questions? questions? All right, so, so oh, wait. Uh, all right, go ahead. Um, I, I, uh, it's the first year I come to Panam, I don't know, but I thought I heard that the engineering program, they do a gold card thing. Like oh, the Baja, Baja Club? Yeah, why don't you put a video of that also, like them working on it or them going yeah. to the tournament? Yeah, yeah, one of our difficulties that we've had in 2014, and I think that would have been interesting to do more talks about, like what are the difficulties that we run into? But in one in particular difficulty is that, students, actually. <laughs> we had uh, three, four, five speakers, I think, out of the 38, 39 speakers that we have that are students. So that's really bad ratio, in my opinion. Like, like I, I think that it should be at least one student presenting each time, maybe one faculty, but the other two should definitely be industry or research or et cetera. So um, Baja would be interesting to get them to talk. I know I had invited the advisor that was doing it, you know, that works with them, but they didn't pull through. That, that happens a lot. Um, I, w that's why it goes back to the whole referral thing. Um,
Yeah. Like they want to hear about the tech, the go kart thing, and make petitions so they can sign it and then show it to the teacher and be like, look, they're asking for it. Exactly. Give it to us. Like, well, That's like let us idea. record you. I could talk to him. Like, yeah. I know the professor is doing that. Yeah, yeah I, I know Aaron has been trying to work with us, and Aaron has, by experience, worked with us, and it's more like, you know, if you want to do something, do it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, today uh, he was telling me, he's like, whatever you guys need, we'll, we'll just get it done. Um, so it's really just, it's, it's a big juggling act when we do all this, and the more I can empower people to get stuff done, then the better. Exactly. I know next month uh, already uh, Clue Quest wants to have a reservation, so we have the two other two, the two other spots. So if we can get the Baja Cup to do it, then we already have a running event one one month ahead. We can start uh, advertising ahead one month ahead. All right, thank you.